You're watching TVC Breakfast. Let's get to our next discussion now. The dichotomy that has existed between bachelor's degree holders from universities and higher national diploma certificate holders from polytechnics has been a bone of contention for many years. Now, this is because employers of labor considered BSc holders superior in some set of way to their counterparts with h &D, and thus university graduates got better employment offers. Now, in an attempt to balance what seemed like a discriminatory policy, the Senate passed a bill prohibiting employers in the country from discriminating between BSc and h &D holders. To further bridge the gap, both federal and state governments began the conversion of polytechnics to universities. The Lagos State Government recently converted the Lagos State Polytechnic in Ikorudu to the University of Science and Technology, as well as the Adeniro Gusonya College of Education and the Michael Otedola College of Primary Education in Ekwe to Lagos State University of Education. So, what do you think about this? So, joining me now is Senior Lecturer, Lagos State University of Science and Technology, Dr. Latunji Aruolo. It's nice to have you, Doc. Yeah, Good morning. Nice. Good morning. Great. Yeah. Now, this uh, HND BSc battle, you know, has been on for so many years. But let me ask basically, what was the idea, original idea, of polytechnics differently and universities differently? And when you give us that, then we can talk about whether we are missing it or we are trying to, you know, create a paradigm shift, kind of. So talk to us. Well, um, the, our founding fathers, when uh, Polytechnic was established, we copied from uh, um, England and uh, Republic of Ireland, to okay. be precise. Mm -hmm. I think when the issue of Polytechnic started, before even the name Polytechnic, they were called Technical Colleges. Okay. The award National Diploma. Initially, it was called Ordinary National Diploma, mm. but later changed to National Diploma. But at a later stage, to be precise, in 1992, HND was introduced into the polytechnic sector or uh, technical colleges. Mm. Why the name Polytechnic is because some courses have been brought in. Ideally, Polytechnic should be from the name technical base, science and technical base. But we found that we now offer accountancy. Mm -hmm. Some do public, public administration. Public in sociology. So, so in, mm -hmm. in, a poly, in, in a technical college. Mm -hmm. I think that's why the name metamorphosed into polytechnic. Okay. You know, poly means many mm -hmm. techniques. So I, I guess that's why the name comes in. Then again, initially when they were created, they were to, produ to produce middle level management. But at the time, that was the idea. That was the idea. Okay. So middle level technical. It's not as if the university are not doing anything practical or okay. technical. They were, we have university that offers engineering, mm -hmm. and you find that there's no way you do engineering, you won't do practical. <laughs> and that's why even in engineering and technology, they spend five years compared to other disciplines that spend four years yeah. in the in the university. Mm -hmm. But they were to produce middle level management. But the bone of contention started if you look at HND. For you to acquire HND, you will have spent five years. Hmm. also in the polytechnic. They see themselves as the same thing equivalent to BSc. Meanwhile, the curriculum differs. Emphasis is laid more on practical in the polytechnic okay. than in the university. Hmm. It doesn't mean that the university does not offer practical as well, but more of practical in the polytechnic. Mm -hmm. And the design, again, apart from they are supposed to be employed to create employment. It's not as if after graduating, you'll not be looking for a job. Mm. But you know what happened during the military era when the industry collapsed? They have no business in competing for the same kind of job the university graduates compete for. But during the collapse of industry, most of the industries collapsed. You find that they are now also competing for the same job the university graduates also are, supposed, are meant to be doing. And yet, because they are middle as the edit, mm. So there is always competition. At a point, you find that probably somebody has been working with HND for several years. A graduate will now come, university graduates, and they now make him a boss. So it also creates conflict within the within the uh, work, work system. Work yeah. system. Hmm. So so that was what happened. So now that we are trying to balance these things, in fact, we've seen where. Some federal college of education, colleges of education are said to be offering, 
you know, uh, degree certificates, you know, and all of that. So, so why are we delving into that instead of keeping each, each one according to the original idea that is there? Well, um, fortunately, I was the ASOP chairman. Hmm. That's academic staff, you know, of Polytechnic mm -hmm. for my institution. Yeah. That's 2010 to 2014. And the crisis we had then, the ASU agreement mm. with the federal government. But one of our agitation is to allow Polytechnic to be awarding degrees up to PhD levels. Because it's also part of the limitation. You find that the, in the Polytechnic, we can't go, we can't award certificate beyond the HD. Apart, apart from the dichotomy. Okay. We said part of our uh, demand then was that allow Polytechnic to equally be awarding degrees up to the university status. That, that request, is it, is it about the prestige? Is it just about the prestige of, okay, well, a graduate, you know? No, no, BSc not kind of. about, you know, this, the, the, like, for example, now, I'm, I didn't attend Polytechnic. Okay. So, but those who did, that's what I've said. Mm -hmm. No, and for them, I, they, I, want, they I, want to. They, I, they, I was privileged to, and the point that, like you mentioned, uh, 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 public administration earlier. I, I did the course, I did the course in public admin at the Polytechnic. And then I did public admin at the university. Yeah. And if I sat down and what did I learn at the Polytechnic and what, what I learned in the university, I, I saw the difference when it comes to the practical approach to it. And then the dynamics of the difference to, okay, fine, the university also broadens your mind into the theories and histories and so many things philosophy. and all of that. Philosophy, exactly. Yeah. So, but you know, like, like we said, it's the system, hmm. it's the society that have created that disparity. If everybody, if everybody is contented and like there is no limitation, I think it's that barrier, the limitation that have been put in place that is putting people off. And if you ask most students, do the statistics, they prefer to go to the university because of also this discrimination. An employer wants to employ, will prefer to employ somebody who is a university graduate. At your workplace, a university graduate is given opportunity to rise to the highest level mm -hmm. or excellent of that profession. Why a polytechnic graduate has a barrier? You cannot go beyond this. Mm -hmm. And even some of them are also yearning for more education. You now find that you want to go for, to postgraduate school. As HND graduate, you cannot apply for your master's directly. And unless you do a conversion, maybe mm -hmm. a PGD course, yes. these are li limitations. Now extending what their counterpart in the university will have done for four years to be able to qualify for a, a postgraduate course, master's to be precise. Mm -hmm. You now find that a polytechnic graduate will end up spending like six years, mm -hmm. five, five years in the polytechnic. That is two years OND. Mm -hmm. Then you now spend a year for your industrial training mm -hmm. and another two years for your higher national diploma probably plus a year postgraduate diploma before you are now qualified to go and do your master's. Hmm. And even some universities still discriminate. Even with that PGD, postgraduate diploma, they are, they are still not considered. They look at, and you find that these days now, what is common now is the, the, the language, they call it top up. <laughs> top up. So you now find that they what go back. What does that back, mean? You know, uh, by top up means they go back to the university, okay. go and do about a minimum of six semesters. Whoa. Six semesters before they now acquire that bachelor, not PGD now. Okay. You know, that's like if you talk of six semesters, you run two semesters within a year. That's like an additional three years. Mm -hmm. You go back and hand that bachelor degree. Because it will also get to a point. If you are within the university system, probably you are a lecturer. If you don't have that first degree, mm -hmm. there are some opportunities that you will be denied. Okay. So, so let, let me ask this. In fact, there's a, question, there's a question that came for you on this. For instance, the students who were in ND, ND2, at, at, at former Las Potec, it's no yeah. longer Las Potec now, yes, former Las law, yeah. and now that the law has changed it to become University of Science and Technology, will they graduate as university students with a degree or... Or, 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 or they are going to finish as polytechnic students. No, I think even the special advisor on education have clear okay. here on this. All Those right. students and our rector, our then uh, I don't want to use the word rector because <laughs> we are no longer <laughs> university vice chancellor. Yes, mm. has also made clarification All because right. we had a town hall meeting. Mm. No, initially when the students were coming in, they apply 
to Lagos State Polytechnic, mm -hmm. not the university. Mm. So until the last student, okay. the last student that applied to last Polytech graduate, whether okay. national diploma or HND, that's when last Polytech ceased to exist okay. again. And by law, a student who have applied to study national diploma or higher national diploma, minimum number of years is of uh, it's two years, okay. which is minimum of four semesters. Mm -hmm. But depending on the ability of the student, the school has also made allowance. You can have a maximum of four years, which is eight semesters, if you want to spread your course. Mm -hmm. So if you look at this now, we're having a year one student now, who, which we just admitted even in year one. Mm -hmm. So if you look at it, before last protect eventually that it might take a minimum of four years. Okay. Minimum. So they will graduate with what they have applied okay. for. Okay. And this year... And the fresh, the fresh intakes yeah. are the ones who will uh, be the degree... Yes. If you go to the jam portal hmm. for this uh, current UTME, hmm. so our institution is listed as one of the university for the students who applied. And our Office of Special Advisor on ed of Education, that's Ministry of Education, have also played, placed advertisement hmm. for these two institutions that were... Right. transmitted to the university okay. for students or the public to be aware and they can apply to it. All right. So now that we have this situation where the uh, former last Potec is, is changed and then former, you know, College of uh, you education. Know, ed education, when it comes to the quality of materials or products from this institution, w what is going to change now? Well, to me, because that's why we are called, they, I think the government know where we are coming from. Mm -hmm. We are a technical institution. Mm -hmm. And that's why the university too is a technical university. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it technology. Mm -hmm. So I believe we, to me, the quality definitely still will, will remain the same. But it's just at the output, the curriculum will definitely will change. So we're still going to contribute our quota because if you look at last we take, even look at our contribution during the last uh, COVID, mm -hmm. what we were able to do at least to reduce the infections rate, you know, the, all those machines that we fabricated. Mm -hmm. So we're still going to be doing all this. But, you know, like you and I know, when you talk about uh, getting funds uh, from Funding. external source, mm -hmm. getting funds, yeah. at least by now, because of the name I've changed. Mm -hmm. People like to associate themselves more with the university. So if we get funds, because this is the bane of tertiary institution, and you can see that's why the ASU are also on strike. Mm -hmm. So I believe we'll be able to attract more funds to the university to showcase the hidden potential that we have. The, the, the issue of funding is, is quite very, I was going to ask it, and now that you've mentioned it. Now, we, we have often seen where universities, a lot of universities who wait for their subvention or allocation from the government, if it is the federal government that they are under or the state government, they'll wait for that. But uh, in other climes, we see how a lot of foundation, a lot of you know, companies have one or two different kind of engagement with universities where they fund different projects. How much of that will... Uh, this new institutions will be doing so they don't rely so much on although Lagos State is trying you know yeah. comparative to so many so other states Lagos State is still far ahead but there still needs to be a lot of well I, I, I think uh, this will change the last administration in my school and the current one too we have created a department that will make this happen that's okay. the directorate of research innovation mm. and development because these are the this is the uh, agency that can drive mm that uh, fund to showcase, motivate the activity of innovations and development. And that's how we can attract funds from our external. Mm. Third fund in his own right too, is also trying to do this capacity, capacity building yeah. in this area so that we rely less on the government and try to attract more fund into the system. Mm. And this also is going to, you're going to see what um, our institution is going to do. So we want to deviate from the, from the past we don't want to do what Unilag is doing or what Lasso is doing. Let's have our own identity. Let's do courses that are relevant mm. to the present, present day. Not that we want to recycle what has been done in the past. So you'll see, you'll see the changes from the, the, there, there is also the, the issue of, uh, you talked about the issue of courses being relevant to uh, the now. We, we do a lot of reading of things 
theories of uh, the 1920s, 18th century, you know, there's nothing wrong in having ideas of all of those. But that's the background. Yeah, that's the background. But the point there is, when those products come out sometimes, especially from the technical schools and some of these uh, vocational uh, inclined issues, some of them are not relevant to the current need in the society from the context of coming out to meet a need. And this is, these are things that are very germane that we, we want to change. We want there to be something that uh, someone coming out from you know, University of Science and Technology or the Polytechnic should be able to come up with, come with very, you know, so much ideas to change, to transform the system. Well, I, well, I, I don't know what product you are referring to, but you should also have it at the back of our mind that we have limitation hmm. in terms of uh, technology nowhere within the country, except we still want to import. But if we have to make use of what we have, what we have to get what we want, hmm. then I think the polytechnic sector in the last five to ten years, they are already getting there. And the, the same thing is what we want to transform into the university system. We s okay, let me ask this question too. We see sometimes there are viral videos of young boys, young girls, little, you know, so many young people inventing different things. They're not necessarily attached to any university. Some, in fact, there, there's a video of a little boy in one of the villages in the East who designed um, uh, a, mini a, kind of a, a, mi a mini thermal. Yeah, you know. I saw it. Exactly. I saw it too. I saw so, it. so wh when you see things like that, what does a university like yours, what would they be doing to try to bring those kind of people who have, you know, uh, honestly, honestly speaking, um, and that apart from being university, mm. that's where that's the place of technical education. Yeah. And um, when I was a director of research innovation and development my school. These are the kind of students I actually look out for. Mm. And that's why to me, I believe Polytechnic is still relevant. Because in Polytechnic, you don't need to, you don't need to be more theoretical or read yeah. a lot to pass. Mm. So your practical will also be assessed. In fact, I was a student I had before I left that office that was trying to integrate because if you look at what this guy designed, mm -hmm. yes, you might say it has been existing, but mm -hmm. he's using the local content right. to, 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 to do it. He designed, he gave me the prototype of a car wash. Car wow. wash. So how the car will come in and it will, the, it will wash the car automated. 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 So it's not the it's so not it's people using No, it's their not hands people. You know, beautiful. but it's not as if this is not yeah, abroad. Of course, of course. And that's, that is technical uh, education mm -hmm. for you, it's applied science. Is what probably the university student, university have the theory they've developed, all those things. Then you now replicate and see how you can now multiply it. Mm. So, but the challenge has always been funding and people coming. So, but I believe if things will turn around now, especially if the because in Nigeria we crave more for university mm. education. You want to be identified, you know, with university. You know, in university, they'll say, honorary doctor. <laughs> but in Polytechnic, what do we give you? We just give fellowships. So, but at least our fellows have even tried a lot for us in our institution. All right. W what relationship will your institution, what, what, would they, what relationship would they have with institutes like FIRO, for instance, Federal in, you know, Institute of Industrial Research, for instance, you know, where you're talking about collaboration, you're talking about science and technology now, not polytechnic anymore necessarily, yeah. but science and technology, and then an institute like that that is geared towards you know innovation and and and, and invention. What, what's the synergy? Well, I believe we already have a relationship with them. Okay, and I don't think it's going now that we have transported to the university. We're even going to need them more. Mm. I used one of their staff when I was director. Okay. There was a machine that we fabricated in the food tech. Food tech, they, they will call it uh, juice extractor. Mm. So it's going to extract juice for industrial use. Okay. So not the normal that you go and buy blender, mm -hmm. but this one is a large scale for small scale industry. So we still have relationship with them, and we're going to continue to have that relationship. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Olatunji Harawolo, for your time on the program. And we look forward to better days uh, ahead for all institutions, not just the universities, but also those, the polytechnics that are still there, you know, and all of that. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Great.